Ever hear the term singing cowboy? Gene Autry was classified as a singing cowboy. Uh, I guess Roy Rogers was, and a few others. And he became very famous singing, singing as a singing cowboy. Go back uh, to the last century with when cattle drives were uh, being done. You know, be, be before the, you know, you're, you're moving the cattle to the to the railroad. Um, you had cowboys singing at night with a guitar, and one of the reasons to do that was to keep the cattle calm. You have a guy on a horse in the middle of cattle, streaming, streaming away, and it was for to keep the cattle. The cattle are going to listen to you. They're not going to listen to a wolf over there. Yes, that's the uh, main thing. Um, dairy farmers have piped in music to their when they're milking their cows. Why? To keep them calm. My father, who raised chickens, you know, had music playing, uh, maybe a radio station, but basically mu soft music playing. It's to keep the chickens, who are going to be l listening, um, calm. And they, when they're calm, they produce more eggs. <laughs> they're not under stress. Uh, that's why you have background music in elevators, in office sometimes. You have pipe in white noise. Mm -hmm. uh, to keep everyone calm. It it's, was pr pretty common, yes, and of course uh, the singing cowboy. Um, slaughterhouses would had, would do the same thing. Uh, pipe in music. It's not for the humans. It's for the cattle. The slaughterhouses. It's for the chickens. Right before they're slaughtered. Yeah. So, singing cowboys. They, they. There was a reason for that. <laughs>